If you've been thinking about starting a print-on-demand shop but don't know where to begin, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your print-on-demand shop with Gelato, one of the best print-on-demand platforms for beginners and pros alike. So let's get started. With Print On Demand, you don't need to worry about stocking inventory, packaging orders, or shipping anything by yourself. With Print On Demand suppliers like Gelato, they handle all of that for you. So you can focus more on the designing and selling. And guess what? It's easy, fast, and low risk as far as starting your own business goes. By the end of this video, you'll have your first product live and ready to sell. So grab your favorite drink, open up your laptop, and follow along. For those of you who are new with the print-on-demand space, Gelato is a global print-on-demand platform that lets you sell custom design products online. They work with local print providers in over 30 countries, meaning faster shipping times for your customers all over the world. So why Gelato? First of all, there's no upfront costs. You only pay when you make a sale. With any print-on-demand supplier, you need to pay for the production of that product and sometime also a designing fee or a personalization fee or also a file digitization fee. Number two, seamless store integrations. Gelato connects easily with shops like Etsy and Shopify or even WooCommerce in just a few clicks. Gelato also offers high quality products. Everything is professionally printed. And lastly, faster shipping. Thanks to local fulfillment centers, customers get their orders way faster. So now that you know why Gelato is a great option, let's start designing our first product. First, you want to head over to Gelato to create your free account. The sign-up process is super simple. Just enter your email, create a password, and you're in. Once inside, you'll see your dashboard, where you can connect your store, manage products, and track orders. Now we need to connect Gelato to our online store. If you're selling on Etsy, Shopify, or WooCommerce, this step is super quick, but I would definitely recommend having an account first before you try to connect your Gelato account to your Etsy shop or website. First, you wanna to go to connect store. Then number two, select your platform, either Etsy, Shopify, or WooCommerce. Number three, you want to follow the on-screen steps to authenticate the connection. And there you go, your store is now connected to Gelato. That means any product you create in Gelato will now automatically show up on your shop. Synced, published, and listed right on your website. That's so easy. Now comes the fun part. My absolute favorite, choosing a product. Gelato offers over 100 customizable products. But for beginners, we're going to start with wall art because especially on Etsy, it's trending and selling really well, especially in the personalized space. Next, we're going to upload our designs into the design studio on Gelato. You wanna make sure you're using a high resolution PNG file with a transparent background if required. And if you don't have any designs yet, you can create one in Canva, Procreate, or even Photoshop. Gelato's editor lets you resize, reposition, and preview your products before they get printed. But don't forget to check the mockups to see how your product's going to look like in real life. Once your design looks good, you're going to go to next steps, which is creating your title, description, and tags. I definitely recommend doing a little bit of research for this part because on sites like Etsy, they heavily rely on good SEO or search engine optimization. That means that the keywords or long phrases that you are using in your titles or descriptions include words that your ideal customer is searching for. So it's definitely a good idea to figure out what words your customers are searching for and then use those words in your titles, descriptions, and tags. Now, 
to set your pricing. Gelato shows you the base cost and then you're able to select how much of a profit you want to make on each sale. I recommend at least a 45% markup, if not a little bit higher, especially on platforms like Etsy because you want to figure in fees from Etsy, as well as shipping and digitization fees if applicable. And just like that, our product is live and ready to sell. Though I would recommend before publishing your listings, ordering samples. Physical samples are really the best way to kind of figure out if you're going to be confident in selling these products to your customers. And it gives you a little bit of space to see if you have created any errors in the design process. Maybe your design didn't go all the way down the page or maybe there's a spelling error. You wanna make sure that your samples are kind of doing the final check for you. And the best part with Gelato, when you open a new account, you will get 50% off your first sample order. It's only valid for the first 48 hours after you create your new account, but it's so worth it. You're able to get 50% off your first seven products. And with so many different high quality products to choose from, there's really a lot of wiggle room as far as finding ones that are going to work best with your niche. If you're looking for a little bit more direction in finding a niche, I've actually created a free print on demand starter kit just for you to help you set up, start and succeed in print on demand in just four weeks. I have it linked down below and it's absolutely free. And that's it. Print on demand with Gelato is as easy as that. If you found this helpful, I would love for you to subscribe, hit that like button, and follow along for more print-on-demand tips and tutorials. If you want to sign up for Gelato, I have that discount for 50% off your first sample order linked down below. See you later, Rebel.